Okay, this chapter is titled The Plan. The head of the army and the head of the air force stood at attention beside the queen's breakfast table. Sophie was still in her seat, and the BFG was still high up on his crazy perch. It took the queen only five minutes to explain the situation to the military men. I knew there was something like this going on, your majesty, the head of the army said. For the last 10 years, we've been getting reports from nearly every country in the world about people disappearing mysteriously in the night. We had only one the other day from Panama. <laughs> oh, that's for the Addy Taste, cried the BFG. And then from Wellington in New Zealand, said the head of the army. Oh, that's for the Booty Flavor, said the BFG. What is he talking about? The head of the Air Force then said. Work it out for yourself, please, the Queen said. What time is it? 10 a.m.? In eight hours, those nine bloodthirsty brutes will be galloping off to gobble up another couple of dozen unfortunate wretches. They have to be stopped. We must act fast. We'll blow the blows out of them, shouted the head of the Air Force. We'll mow them down with machine guns, cried the head of the army. I do not approve of murder, said the Queen. But they're murderers themselves, cried the head of the army. That is no reason why we should follow their example, the queen said. Two wrongs do not make a, make a right. And two wrongs don't make a left, eh? said the BFG. We must bring them back alive, the queen said. Oh, the two military men said together. They're all 50 feet tall. They knock us down like non pins. Wait, cried the BFG. Hold your horse, fellas. Keep your skirts on. I think I got the answer to the maiden's air. Let him speak, the queen said. Every afternoon, the BFG said, all these giants are in the land of Norway. I can't understand a word this fella says, the head of the army snapped. Why doesn't he speak clearly? He means the land of Nor, Sophie said. It's pretty obvious. Excunkly, cried the BFG. Every afternoon all these non jaunts lies on the ground snuzzling away in the very deep sleep, eh? They rest in like that before they gallop off to guzzle another helping of human beings. Go on, they said. So what? So what you and your soldiers got to do is creep up to them giants while they're still in the land of naughty and tie their arms and legs with mighty ropes and wonking chains. That's brilliant, BFG, the Queen said. That's all very well, said the head of the army. But how do you get the brutes back here? We can't load 50-foot johns on trucks. Shoot them on the spot. That's what I say. The BFG looked down from his lofty perch and said this to the head of the Air Force. You got belly poppers. Don't you got belly poppers, I? He asked. He means helicopters, Sophie said. Then why won't he say helicopters? Of course we've got helicopters. All right, so you got what's your big belly poppers, yeah? Yes, very big one, the head of the Air Force said proudly. But no helicopters big enough to get a jaunt inside of it. You don't got to put them inside, eh, see? All you got to do is sling them underneath the belly of your belly popper and carry them like a potato, eh? Like a what? said the head of the Air Force. Like a torpedo, that's what he said, Sophie. Could you do that? Air Marshal? the Queen asked. And we'll stop there.